Hello and welcome to the Biohacker Babe 7 Day Challenge. I am so excited to kick this off with you all tomorrow morning. So just a few things I wanted to cover today because I know nutrition can be very confusing. Trust me, I've been studying it for a long time and every day I'm still learning something new. So Lauren and I really wanted to keep the 7 Day Challenge pretty simple. So right, we're focusing on whole foods, meaning kind of one ingredient at a time. I'll talk through that a little bit more. And then also just removing things that are very inflammatory for the body. So that's where the gluten, the sugar, the alcohol comes in. So keeping it very simple. If you want to go further, please reach out to us. You can always ask questions you know, in the Facebook group. That's a great way to ask a question, get an answer, and then you might actually help someone else in the group. So the Facebook group is a great place for that. If it's a more private question, you can always email us at biohackerbabes at gmail.com. We are here to help you if you want to dive a little bit deeper. And then even after the challenge, you know, we're here to help you with that as well. So what to expect from me every day this week, you will get a video from me. It's going to be either a nutrition tip or a lifestyle tip. And again, if you have more questions about it, just let me know. So circling back to the whole food diet. So to keep it simple, we're keeping it with healthy animal protein. That means hopefully organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised animal protein. Um, you can do wild-caught seafood as well. Um, lots of vegetables, right? We're aiming for hopefully five servings a day. I know that's a lot of veggies, but definitely aim for that. Um, fruit is fine, but we want to try and keep it to one or two servings a day. So that could be maybe one cup of strawberries, uh, one apple, something minimal like that. So you get a little bit of sweetness from the fruit, but just don't go overboard with it. Um, also nuts and seeds. So these are a great snack option, maybe a handful of almonds or cashews. You could throw some chia seeds or sunflower seeds in your smoothie for the day. Um, great source of fat and a little bit of protein. Also has some great micronutrients in there. In addition to that, we are allowing you to have gluten-free grains. So that would entail things like rice, quinoa, oats, as long as the label says gluten-free because they can be contaminated sometimes. Um, otherwise, that's fine. So definitely refer back to the grocery shopping list. And if you need more help, you can always go online and look for more recipes and meal plans. A really good keyword to look for is paleo. So paleo pretty much encompasses everything I just covered, but the modification we are making is we are allowing gluten-free grains, which is typically not allowed on the paleo diet. So we're still getting rid of the gluten, but we're allowing a little bit of extra carbohydrates, especially with Lauren's awesome daily workouts. So you might want to save those carbs for after the workouts. All right, so that's the basic list. Again, let me know if you have any questions. Go online, look for more recipes. Also, check out the email today. So there's a lot of good recipes. I try to include a couple you know, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Also, threw in our basic smoothie recipe, which is a great way to start. All right, so we're here for you. Please let us know if you need anything at all, and we can't wait.